day 151. In order to maintain the required level of power output, we installed five power stations, which will charge the Alpha Crystal with energy currents from the provinces. On top of that, we finally created the initial batch of robots, who volunteered to replace their outdated generators with crystal radiation receivers. Day 342. I'm afraid we're making a huge mistake. The red-eye effect appears to be much more dangerous than we could imagine. Cases of animal aggression towards robots become ever more frequent. Today, for the first time, giant rats ravaged the robot. They are the emergency situation. I'm going to proceed with my experiments to find an alternative. Day 364, I've successfully produced a brand new green crystal with quite high power potential. Wavelength doesn't provide for remote energy transmission, but it may indeed be used as an autonomous power generator. K1PR has shut down the laboratory and ordered the green crystal's prototype destroyed. Zero and one, we created a machine which will be the end of all of us. I must stop it.
Annie, you've activated the last beam. We've triggered the fusion process. What? The dragon is still alive and flying towards the city? We have to hurry. I'll need all the energy I can get, so I'll turn off the communicator for now. Teleporter will be activated in two minutes. I wouldn't know how fast this monster can fly, but let's hope for the best. <laughs> Day 366. I've decided to take desperate measures. During the experiments, I've already noticed how animals mutate upon contact with Alpha Gear. To stop K1PR, I shall create another monster who will destroy the Alpha Crystal once and for all. Oh no! Mutation's going out of control! Somebody hold him down! to us robots. Can't you see that? You have almost met your fate in the claws of that monstrous creature. Our only chance to survive is to wipe out all biological species. Sense. Pale green crystals will never give us such power. Our strength lies in unity and centralized control. Ha ha ha! You pathetic tin can! Your crazy talk is getting me weary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What a tiresome worm. You're making me go back on my word and crush you. No! A deafening explosion jolted the air. And then there was silence. Only science and no dreams this time. Suddenly, Kenny felt a strange tingling sensation deep inside. This warm feeling was slowly overwhelming his whole body. The green crystal was, miraculously, still inside his body, and now was filling him with something he had never known before. Kenny was discovering the world around him all over again. Its breathing, its harmony, and the music of its existence. And for the first time in his life, he was a part of it.